find some sand? Yeah, it's pretty cool, huh? I'm a bug. <laughs> Hey guys, my name's James. And I'm Ashley. Last year we sold our house and we're traveling across the country with our kids. Hi, my name's Goose and this is Maverick. <laughs> Come join us. First off, before I even start talking, I'm gonna apologize for the wind. As you can tell from the palm trees up there, it is a little breezy out right now, but oh my goodness, you guys, this is gorgeous. When I think Florida, this is what I think. Palm trees, beautiful water right next to our house. I mean, how much cooler can it get? We're parked right there, and this is what we get to look at. So amazing. We are currently at a Boondockers Welcome. I love this app, this website. I'll put a link to their profile down below if you guys are curious in exactly where we are staying. Or as always, it'll be on our travel map over on Patreon if you guys want to see all of the places that we've gone. Woo, it's getting windy, seriously. Look at those palm trees swaying. This is crazy. Are you girls having fun? Yeah. Yeah? Of course I'm having fun because it's fun. Of course, we're getting dirty. Uh, today has just been a chill work day. All morning I was working on editing. I was actually editing our Lego Movie World vlog. Yeah, that was that went up a while ago. Super fun video. If you guys haven't seen it, I'll link it up. And and Ashley is actually currently at a Starbucks doing some work. Today is her work day as well, so she's in town doing some work, getting some stuff done. Holy crud, it's windy. I'm gonna go ahead and stop talking because you guys probably can't hear a word I am saying. Look at that. While we're staying at this Boondockers Welcome, there are a few things nearby that we've learned about that we want to go check out. So, right now we are headed to go we do to what? Pick the strawberries! What are we doing? Pick strawberries and maybe eat them! <laughs> maybe! So, there is a. <laughs> Just gonna look at them. <laughs> there is a you pick strawberry patch nearby that we actually <sighs> had to turn our uh, fifth wheel around. We got lost on our way here and we had to do a U turn in their parking lot. So, thank you, Strawberry Patch, for letting us do that. But we decided, you know what? It's a beautiful day and instead of just doing work all day today because today is a work day we're trying to get as much done it's as we can so pretty, it's uh. beautiful but we need to get a lot of work done before we go on the cruise because we're gonna be internetless for six days and for uh, people who use social media as a career that's difficult to do so we need to get all of our videos done and uploaded all of our uh, posts scheduled and whatnot so that way we can be on the cruise and literally be without the internet for a week that's gonna be Crazy, crazy for us. I cannot remember the last time we've gone that long without having any internet. Uh, but that just means this week is crazy on our end trying to get stuff done for next week. Do you like RVing? Do you like meeting new people? Well, do you like spending large sums of money on campgrounds? No? I didn't think so. Well then, check out Boondockers Welcome. It's a great alternative to finding campgrounds. And a year's subscription is cheaper than an average one night stay. Once you've joined, you can submit a request to stay at hundreds of locations across the world. You heard me, the world, including Europe, Australia, and even New Zealand. Then just wait for a response from your host. Congratulations, you are on your way to an affordable adventure in the wilderness. You guys know that we have loved Boondockers Welcome long before they sponsored this show. So uh, definitely, if you guys are on the road, 
check out Boondockers Welcome because it has been probably one of the best investments we've made. I mean, it literally is cheaper than the cost of most one night stays at campgrounds or RV parks. So it is well worth the investment. I highly suggest it. And even if you guys aren't on the road, uh, Boondockers Welcome isn't just for people who are going out and RVing. We've met many people who just host because they love learning about the RV lifestyle and just meeting people that do this. So either way, definitely check it out. Uh, there will be a link down below in the description. Hopefully you enjoyed our fun little commercial, but enough about that, back to the show. Oh, it's funny because we told them that we saw this strawberry place. They're like, oh yeah, did you turn around in it? And we're like, yeah, we did. They said, yeah, they thought that you did. Oh, that was my turn. Small town right there, small town. Yeah, but I, this Airbnb, this Airbnb, this Boondockers Welcome is so cool because you literally have to drive through Orange Grove after Orange Grove to get out here. And what's funny is that while, did you tell them yesterday what I did? No. Uh, yesterday, as I was driving, I went by Florida Natural and it has like a welcome center or something and thought, wow, that's a great place to have a like homeschool lesson. And so we're gonna try and do that today. So I'm really excited because they were telling us a lot of these orange fields actually go to Florida Natural, which makes sense. So if you're drinking Florida Natural orange juice, you might be drinking these oranges right there. That's so crazy. Driving by your orange juice That's so right crazy. Now. And actually, Goose is like, we could stop and pick one. I was like, we probably could, but technically that's not ours, so we probably shouldn't do that. But uh, they probably give out samples at the Florida Natural Orange Juice place. So uh, I'm curious to see what they have there. I don't think it's like a museum or a tour or anything. I think it's just like a welcome center. So we'll see what exactly they have there. But that's something kind of cool about Florida is like they are known for their oranges. So we're gonna need to pick some berries and go learn about orange juice, I guess. Oh, bug. Fresh picked berry. How is it? Can daddy have a bite? Mm, good more. Can I have one? Oh, thank you. Where do I put? Mmm. That is delicious. Hey, are you picking or are you eating? I'm <laughs> but. <laughs> she just shoving them in her face. Our Boondocker Welcome hosts were telling us that there were kids out here and they had like a white shirt on or it was white, but then by the time that they left, it looked like it was a bloody massacre all over the kid's shirt. You want more? Okay, you can do one more, okay? Picture perfect, those things look. That is amazing. Look at that. <laughs> Mommy might be just a little bit excited. Oh, that looks like a good one. Go ahead, go for that one. You want to pick that one? No, which one? Which one do you want to pick? You pick one. Go ahead. Yep, that one. Does it look good. No, okay. You pick one. Which one do you want? That one. Okay, go for that one. Good. Mmm. And we're not just stealing berries. The uh, owner did say, "Feel free to let the kids taste them and try them and pick them. No worries." So we're not just stealing berries. Don't worry, guys. Have you ever seen a more beautiful sight than fresh, bright red strawberries? I can't stop but eating them. <laughs> so good. How you doing? How good. full is it? Oh, you need to go faster. You're not, your bucket's not very full. Mab, you gotta stop eating them and start putting them in the bucket. <laughs> now that is a strawberry right there. Holy moly, look at the size of that thing. <laughs> All right, we got our two buckets. Now it's time to head back and get some ice cream. 
and then make some strawberry smoothies when we get home. I can't believe this kid would rather have a strawberry smoothie than ice cream. You are crazy. It's fresh strawberry smoothies. <laughs> ice cream's still better. today because I just kind of felt like we had been doing a lot of in-school class I guess you could say and we just wanted to get out and when I got out to do some work yesterday I saw this place when I was driving by and I decided that we should come here and learn about orange juice. So we talked about that in our last video about how we do road schooling is what it's called is so instead of like Ashley was saying trying to do all classroom work trying to get out and turn these type of attractions and visitor centers and uh, adventure days as we call them into our homeschool lessons so Ashley is very good at taking these type of things and turning it into school. Me, I just like the free juice. Whoa! How'd you do that? I just came. Yeah, that one doesn't work. That one's broken. That is good. What do you think? Good, more? Yeah. It's like medicine. You like it? Yeah. Oh, you don't like it? What'd you get? I got the pomegranate got the lemonade. Blackberry. Oh, blackberry? Cheers. Right, right, Cheers. I like the blackberry better. Yes. Alright, this is Goose's concoction. Which ones did you mix? I made mean, orange this juice and, this. and the pomegranate. Pomegranate orange juice. It's not bad. Oh, one of the things that's cool about the uh, little visitor center here is that the factory is right across the street. If you look behind you guys right there, you can see the Florida Natural Water Tower and just the whole factory plant where it all happens is right behind you. So it's definitely a cool little stop. I wouldn't have like made this be one of our destinations, like, you know, trying to get here. But since we were driving right by it, it was a cool little, you know, half an hour stop to get the kids a little bit of education about how things work, you know, just the whole uh, agricultural industry is something that they really don't know anything about. So just dipping their toes into that was kind of interesting. Plus, they got free juice, so uh, they love that part of it. What are we doing? We are driving the golf cart. What? I mean You're driving a golf cart? I know. All right, I'll see you later. Have fun. <laughs> All right, one foot at a time. Earlier she was braking and gassing at the same time. All right, go for it. Tell me when you're going. We're going. She's like, <laughs> How you doing back there, Mav? Oh, man. Are you having fun? You good? Yeah. Don't hit the trash cans. <laughs> So our hosts were kind enough to allow us to use their golf cart to cruise around their property with and Goose has been taking full advantage of it. Even Mav has driven though. Woo! We're cruising! Look at his sh look at his shop. Isn't that cool? You probably can't see it very well back there, but isn't this place amazing? Yeah, I'll go for right. oh, a little more. Is it smoother than the lake? Ow. Oh good. Until you say ow, hit a big old branch. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Hey Google, make mommy go faster. This is as fast as it goes. I've got it floored. 
So if you guys watched last week's video, you saw that we announced our epic summer giveaway uh, kickoff. And so this is the first official announcement. Some of you have already been on the ball and have already been applying for this first giveaway. But the announcement is we are giving away a giant RV mat. The home is where you park your RV mat. The exact one that, well not the exact one, but the same one that we have, only brand new, not used. So we are giving that one away. You have 10 days to enter right now. Uh, the link will be down below to the Gleam contest. There are all sorts of ways to enter from joining us on Patreon to uh, tweeting or sharing about us on Instagram. All sorts of ways you guys can enter. So check out that link down below and say, until next time guys, remember, stay positive, get out there, life is an adventure. Say, so make some memories. I <laughs> Yeah.